Today, I got a PvE build for Warlocks that puts out massive damage. Void 3.0 is finally here, so in this video, I'm gonna break down some exotics, mods, and fragments you can pair together to make you nearly immortal. To bend the Void to your will, the first thing you wanna grab are your subclass aspects. Feed the Void and Chaos Accelerant are gonna be your picks here, because the synergy they give is absolutely insane. When you have these together, hold down the grenade button to overcharge, and when you let go, you're gonna chuck a vortex grenade that's roughly the size of a football field. That deals bonus damage, pulls enemies into the center, and as soon as it gets a kill, the devour buff pops up on the left side of the screen and your health shoots back up to full. While that's active, every kill you get, no matter how you do it, is gonna keep topping your health bar off. This is a disgusting amount of survivability, and with a grenade that big, we're gonna push its lethality as much as possible. To make that happen, you want to put on Nezerak Sin and the fragments Echo of Undermining and Echo of Expulsion. Nezerak Sin is one of the sexiest exotics in all of Destiny 2. When you get a kill with anything void damage, the Abyssal Extractor's buff pops up and starts supercharging the regen of your grenade, melee, rift, and super. The more kills you get, the longer the buff lasts, and the fact that it covers all your abilities at once is top tier. When you throw on Echo of Undermining and Echo of Expulsion, things start to get out of hand. As soon as your grenade makes contact, the enemy turns purple and now they're taking 15% more damage from you and all your buddies. When they die to the vortex, their body explodes and you cook the whole group like popcorn in the microwave. This grenade is borderline overpowered and you're gonna wanna have it up all the time. To pull that off, we're slotting the mods, elemental ordnance, and bountiful wells. Real quick dudes, if you're getting value out of this, like the video and subscribe for more Destiny content. We're closing in on 20,000 subs, so help a brother out. Elemental Ordnance spawns an Elemental Well when you get a kill with a grenade. Run over top of it and you're getting 15% of all of your abilities back. With Bountiful Wells equipped, an extra well spawns anytime you'd normally make one, and when you put on Explosive Well Maker, now you're making Solar Wells too. With all of these mods together, anytime your grenade gets two kills, you're spawning four Elemental Wells for you and everyone on your fire team. That's essentially an infinite ability engine. In addition to that, I highly recommend you put on Well of Tenacity. If you guys haven't heard yet, with the release of Witch Queen, our old buddy Protective Light got its head cracked in with the nerf bat. It used to be a 50% damage reduction, and Well of Tenacity only gave 10%, which means it pretty much sucked. Those two effects got swapped when the expansion launched, and to no one's surprise, 10% DR is still absolute dog water. In one fell swoop, Protective Light went from the best mod in the game to the bottom of the barrel, and your boy Well of Tenacity's finally getting its time in the spotlight. Whenever you run over a Void Elemental Well, the Resist Times 3 buff pops up and for the next 6 seconds you're taking half damage. You can refresh that timer by running over another Well, and paired with Devour, you're one of the tankiest motherfuckers in the game. To carry on that unkillable vibe, you want to grab yourself a Void Chest Piece. Having a Void Chest Armor is more important than ever right now, because the Scorn are everywhere and their snipers will take your head right off your neck. These things can one-hit you from full health, so slotting Void Resistance is basically mandatory. This season's artifact brought us Thermoshock Plating, and with these two mods equipped, you've got a flat 25% resistance to solar, arc, and void damage. Put on Recuperation and Harmonic Siphon to make multi-kills with your void weapon spawn an orb of power and give you health regeneration every time you pick one up. That's bonus super for you and the squad just for killing sh** with your gun. If your buddies are running Echo of Starvation, you're gonna help them activate Devour, and while we're talking about weapons, let's go over what you can run to get the most bang for your buck. In your heavy slot, rocket launchers are pretty hot right now, and the red herring just happens to tick all the boxes. You can craft this bad boy for yourself at the Enclave on Mars, which lets you tailor the perk selection to whatever you please, and I highly recommend rolling with Ambitious Assassin and Adrenaline Junkie. With that combo, when you get a kill with your grenade, Adrenaline Junkie times 5 pops up on the left side of the screen. While that's active, the damage of your rockets is buffed by 30%, and when you reload, if you murdered anything, Ambitious Assassin's throwing two rockets in the tube. In your kinetic slot, you want to keep either a hand cannon or a pulse rifle with you for the times when you need to stun unstoppable champions. Look for a roll with Demolitionist to give you a chunk of grenade energy back whenever you get a kill. If there's no unstoppables to deal with, the Fortissimo Slug Shotgun is about as sexy an option as you can get. This drops with Demolitionist in the left column, which is rare in and of itself, but for the Void Lock, I think the real god roll is surrounded. Remember Particle Deconstruction from Season of the Lost and how hard everyone was about it? When that was stacked up, it was 40% extra damage. Coincidentally, Surrounded with the Surrounded spec mod is the exact same 40%, and all you gotta do is stand in a group of enemies. 
With all your survivability options, this is the perfect build to be in melee range, and it just so happens there's a weapon, a fragment, and a mod that when you put them together are the cherry on top of everything this build does. To complete the loadout and become the true master of the void, it's time to put on the Monarch. This is, without a doubt, one of the nastiest exotics in the game. When you headshot an enemy, it poisons the target and anything close by with damage over time. This is amazing for ad clear, and it synergizes perfectly with the Fragment Echo of Instability and the mod Volatile Flow. Now every time you pick up a Void Well or kill a target with a grenade, the Volatile Rounds buff pops up on the left side of the screen. When that's active, your Rocket Launcher and the Monarch are gonna make enemies glow purple and explode. That adds a disgusting amount of AoE potential that lets you dumpster everything in your way. And the wildest part of all of this is that the volatile explosions count as void kills, which procs the Abyssal Extractor buff from Nezerak Sin and supercharges the cooldown of your grenade, melee, rift, and super. This is one of the most insane builds in all of Destiny 2, and if you want to see more content like this, just click the card on the right. Thanks for watching.